Good. Here we go. Oh, let's get the old bones going. So we know it's half term. Half term affects lots of things. And I've noticed since COVID, affects more because there's more, more people doing um, granny stuff and granddad stuff and all that and everything like that. And also those who've got kids taking the kids away and things like that. So all good stuff. Okay, all positive for, for that. And the people out here, they're still getting the press and plays in, guys. So we're nice and happy. Let me dim that down this a little bit. Oh, wrong way. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, had my milk, had my banana, had the magic drink. Let's wind up the legs and get going. Let's bring those feet. Either side of the insect where we always start. Beam fit. Here we go. Feet front to rear, rolling the feet. Remember, on the beam, rolling. So like a, a move we're going to do later on beam a lot is but the downward dog sort of routine on the beam. So on the hand, big full body exercise, guys. Those of you who did it on Tuesday, I know you're press and play. <coughs> Excuse me, the lung getting already. The lung's getting excited, they're going already. We roll our feet on the beam, keep it in contact. So you're, you're used to on the beam and on narrow surface, believe it or not, for your balance, you are now used to muscle memory in the body up the nervous system have had uh, equal body weight distribution throughout the feet. You were very aware of you going over to your out steps, especially if anybody ever has gone over with it and to your ankle, you're very aware of it and will correct it really, really quickly. Okay, in steps, keep it going. Bring this forward, butt out to the rear, just gently increasing. Oh, that feels good. All the way front, all the way to the rear. Good, liking that one. Good, so you know, did it ultra last, last year. I didn't. <laughs> three, four months ago. So we're doing the Isle of Wight one next year in April. And that's 106, so it's twice the distance. So I've already started training for it. So if you see me just sit down and watch you very so often, and that's what I'm doing. I have a little rest. Hips forward, butt out to the rear. Forward and rear. But there are some of the Nordic walkers who are in there doing this. Some are doing the, the half distance and some are doing the quarter as well. Got a little group going down with me. So that's okay, hip forward, butt out to the rear, and keep now, bend, bend it forward, bend it forward. Take the chest further, and turn into a stretch, with a mobile stretch if you like. There we go, curl the toes upwards, one more, good, and then back to push it forward, push it forward. So do a couple more, we'll every so often, uh, an exercise we do, or a warm up, whatever it is, we do it all the time, we'll have every so often taking it and doing a little bit more with it, so the body doesn't get used to doing the same distance or time all the time. Relax it back down, guys. Now, stop rolling the feet, heels up. Keep the toes still, bring those heels straight up. As you bring them up, remember the exercise we did last week where we're thinking of standing nice and tall. At the same time, think tall. Feel the spine. Imagine those vertebrae separating and, st and stretching and clinking it, not in a gruesome way, in a nice way. Gently growing, okay? Vertebrae coming up, it's lengthening. Body getting taller. Imagine a packet of pencils and you're one of them. Oh, nice and straight, there we go, and thin and tall, fantastic. Relax it down, back hands facing me, start the roll again, shoulder at the front and to the rear. So hopefully we can already feel where our legs have been getting that workout. The calves, body shaping the calves already. Good, keep that going guys, keep it going. I'm gonna press a little button here, which I forgot. I'll get back in time, I'll get back in time with Viv this week, here we go, there, good. And fantastic, liking that one. Let's do the tall one first, shall we? Let's gently take the arms up and reach for the ceiling. Just gently, swinging them up, pushing them to the rear, nice and loose in those shoulders. We like loose shoulders, guys. Nothing worse than having tight shoulders. As we get older, people lose the ability. You know what? I met people in gyms in the past, and I've had people 20, 21, 22, who could not raise their arm above their head effectively. Crazy. Reach up as now bring the elbows in. Reach up and bring them in and feel that stretch again. Think pencils. <laughs> You're going to be dreaming about pencils by the time I'm finished with you tonight. Good stuff. Nice and tall. Bring the elbows in. Last one there. Shoulder height to here. Good. Then a W position next one. Here we go. Up and out. Now, are we bringing the, the heels off the floor effectively as well? Making that count, not just transferring the weight. Open up, hand span, little finger to thumb, A4 paper between the shoulder blade. You know what? I am sweating already. Good. Now pinch that A4 paper. Pinch the paper. Two left. There's one. And back. 
And two, back to shoulder height. Can you feel our shoulders working hard? Can we do a little bit extra this evening? Good, there. And we're gonna do two for the price of one. Here we go, down and back. And that's a nice balanced one as well. Do this, do the split second, pause to the front there. Pause to the front there. And swing those arms to the rear now. Swing them to the rear. We're gonna come for a stop in three and two and a one and gently shaking everything out. Good habits, rub the back of the wrist, make some wave with the fingers. Fantastic. Feet alongside the beam. Oh, I think we need three breaths, don't we? Take the hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathing. Exhale down to the heart. No isometrics, guys. Push it out there. Turn up, go. Exhale down to the heart. Good. Three, out we go. Pause and hold, palms down. Now reach out. Reach out to the wall. I've got this habit, I didn't know whether I did it, but I do. When I say reach out, I say reach. I curve my knuckles up towards the ceiling. But when I say out, I push the fingers back out again. Good. Rotate hands towards the ceiling, palms upwards. And keep rotating to the rear. We want to feel that rotator cuff working. We want to feel it going down. Now you're going to feel it coming down on like a Y shape, all the way down and then through the abdominal area, just by rotating the hands backwards. Breathe in. Exhale, no high elbows, bring them down nice and low, thumbs onto the sternum. One more symmetrics, because there's no particular reason. Let's do a session without doing any warm up, okay? Two, one, arc the hands down to the side, and then lean over any side you want to. Feel stretching the waistline, don't go any further. Good, like that. Ready? Up we come, nice and slow, over the other side. There, good. Stretching the waistline, two, let's call it eight seconds. Bring it back up, pointy fingers coming out. You knew this was almost coming without even saying anything. Concrete trousers on, and you've all got bright green concrete trousers on. How did that happen? Round that goal, guys, three times either side. If you've already started, then that's fine. Actually, I've got a lot further than what I was expecting. So I'm happy with that. And that one, and bringing it back. Fantastic. And this one. Round we go. So Christmas is coming up. So you've got to stop leaving little hints and tips about what you want. Okay. There's a fitness. If you haven't got one, you want some sort of measuring device on your wrist, which tells you about your fitness. Your counts your steps for you. Tells you your recovery rate. Tells you how many hours you've got before you can work, should be working out again. All that sort of stuff. You're all fit. Arc the hand down and you benefit and you'd use it, all right? I use my Garmin, Garmin's are pretty good as well, all right? And uh, the new Apple Watch is good, but it's about 850 quid or something like that. But if you get it off the States and do a link on a website and use a cookie to import it, you can get it for about two thirds of the price. So there's that one, I, I just, I was, there's others about there, guys. So got them, there's Fitbits and everything, they're all good, and it's worth leaving little notes about. I would like a little hint and tip. Let's get onto the beam. Here we go. Right foot front, left foot behind. Let's drop that heel over. Here we go. Let's just, shoot, let's, I've changed it. Let's do a nice big beam lattice one. Drop that heel back of the beam. Keep the front foot flat and gently just extend the leg down and bring it back up again. Feel that stretch in the calf. And actually, thinking about it, isn't this a good one to do after doing those heel raises we did before? There, feel it stretching out. Well, it feels good, doesn't it? Now, up on the toes on both feet. On both feet as you come up. And as we move upwards, next one, bring the hands up and out. There, big balance exercise, using that beam. Push down, come back up. Oh, you're looking too good. We've got a bunch of shorts on the Thursday Night Live. You guys must be watching those on, on press and play thinking, what are they doing? Oh, Peter, they're good. Last one, up we go, drop it back down, arc the hands down and swap the feet over. When you swap the feet over, try and get so you get no hangovers, if you can, or more, but I do a hangover. Okay, drop the back foot over. Sort the feet out. There, good. Ready? When you're ready, got to push down, bring up. Keep the front foot flat. The front knee's gonna bend as well. Heel down towards the floor. That's a nice big super stretch. Really encouraging that return circulation back from our extremities. The calves will love it. And you know good circulation prevents? Varicose veins, we don't want those, do we? Varicose veins lead to cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is, that leads to death. So we don't want that, all right? Down we're going back. There, good. Nice set of pins, we've all got them. Okay, front foot up, 
Heels down and back up. Once you've got that in there, once you've got your balance, next move, taking the hands up and out. So growing nice and tall, nice straight lines, got the pencils going on again. You're going to be dreaming pencils when we're finished. Two and one. Lower it down, step away, and shake it out. And by now, those lower legs are like pencils. Good grief. Somebody raise them and draw me a new set. All right. Back onto the beam. Right foot front, left foot behind. Where we started before, before I interrupted us with a quick beam lattice, stroke pilates bit on the beam. Three step beam walks go. One, two, three, return three, and two, and a one. So rolling those feet there and back. So I've counted it up the other day, guys. You know, we've done over 3,000 classes from this, from this living room. I couldn't believe it. One, and two, and three, and front three, two, one. So I'm a bit wobbly this evening. Don't know who I just am, but the big focus is to not to have any hangovers and not to fall off the beam. And if you're giving the old smarty pants one, oh, look at me. I've got having a good night tonight. Well, well done. Last one to the front. Here we go. Three and two and one. Return one and two and a three. Look fantastic. Feel fantastic. Hands up and out. Turn them up and go. Exhale down to the heart, squishing it out and round we go for two. Turn up again, go. Exhale down, squish it out, bring it back round to me. We're going to arc that down. We're getting in the zone, guys. Lock the thumb out, rotate the shoulders forwards, rotate them to the rear, and we're going to swap over. You know, over the years, uh, especially in live classes, more so in live classes, people are a bigger size, aren't we, <laughs> in the class? But when I get the regulars in and I can see people come in and I just watch them on the beam and I know in the first five, ten minutes if there's something going on. You can just tell, guys, the focus is there. And I the, the see people working, you see working extra hard, expressions on their faces, and then it clicks and they're in. And you get somebody coming in who's had a horrible day at work but couldn't, and don't look happy when they leave nice and happy. And that's what all fitness should be like, not just beaming. Let's get ready, guys. Swap the feet over and go. Four, one two, three, return, three, and two, and a one. So the legs like a lock shock absorbers, they're never locked out, are they? We've got nice work with the knees, the hips, and the ankles, working the way that they should be. Robot arms, keeping everything coordinated and there. Don't worry about looking down towards the floor if that happens. I don't look down towards the floor. I've got a, you know when you put something down, and the end up you pick it up like a bit of string, and it's all a big set of knots. For some reason, my, my resistance bands look like they need sorting out. And there, return one and two and three and front three and two. Starting to feel better now. And return two and three to the front. Last one, one and two. We're there. That's a return for three and two and a one. And hands up and out. Turn up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Squish those hands out. Look how tall we are now. Rotate around for two. Turn the hands up and breathe. Exhale down, squish the hands out, back round to me. Arc them nice down, step away, guys, and get yourselves a quick drink or shake everything out. Good habits. So last week was good. It wasn't last week you broke a record the week before. We were storming into it. But we don't want to do that all the time. We want to change it, and that's what we do. We're always constantly changing our routines, our exercises. Do things different ways, doing a fit the faster, stronger. That's how we get. Okay, I'm going to keep it beam lattice, guys, but we're going to gently speed it up, okay? We want to be on Tuesday. Right foot to the beam, left foot alongside it. We're not going to take it to the front or the rear. Nice straight lines. We're ready. Robot arms down and back there. Down and back there. So when you have a down to beam, beam lattice, it means we're just going to do a mixture. It's like a bag of licorice all sorts. Down we go and back there and back up. Now get that butt down nice and deep. Your heels aren't going to raise. I know they're not. They don't even feel like they're going to raise because you're nice and stretched and you're nice and elastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's speed it up now. So there we go. I've gone from beam fit, beam lattice, sorry, up to beam fit. Three and two and one. Up I come, take the hands up and out, we need this, turn hands up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart, squishing them out. Beam fit, here we go, gently down and back. In fact, I think Tuesday was even a lot slower than this, wasn't it? Down we go, and back. Taking the brakes off, 
Now I'm pushing that foam down a little bit faster. See that? Double the speed. Here we go. Good. There. And dip. Fantastic. Three and two and one. And up we come. Turn hands up and breathe. Exhale down to the heart. This time, arc them down. Get that leg off the beam, guys. It wants to do that, okay? Open it up. Your rep fan wants to get the let the blood in there. Oh, got a left the Morrison's leg, haven't we? Swapping it over. Left leg to the beam. Oh, got an itchy elbow. What does that mean? Got to buy six lottery tickets. Good grief. Okay. I didn't know that one. It's my imaginary friend just telling me, all right? Ready? Dip. And back. Nice, folks. Nice straight lines. Looking good. Hands coming up. Now, just take time. Every so often, guys, you take time out. Even if you're not going to redo a class, get something like this one. Can you send me the link? And watch yourself there. Watch the straight line. Watch how good you are. If you've got it, you should flaunt it, guys. You're looking fantastic. Dipping it down. And be proud of the work that you're doing. Dipping it down. Good. Here we go. Speed it up. There. Good. And a dip. And a dip. Fantastic. Liking it. Bit different this side. Ready? Slow. Beam artist type. There. On the move. Hands up and out. So there. Now be a machine. Gently pushing those foam pillars down. You've still got the green ones out. Good to see. We're going to take the brakes off. Here we go. Dip and back. There. Fantastic. Good. And liking this one. Three and two and Pause, hold. We need this again. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Arc those hands down. Step away from the beam and shake it out. Did you notice as soon as you stopped, this leg that was on the beam thought, oh, good. And it felt really weird trying to get it back, back on off the, off the beam again. All right. Oh, I don't know what's been mixed in this. I just seen some blue lights whizzing up and down outside. So those of you who know where I live, you know it's difficult to find sometimes. So I'm happy with that. But if I do get dragged out of the room, my arms up my back, it was the yellow drink and nothing else. Okay. Back to the beam, guys. Here we go. You know what? On these exercises, I'm looking through my list and I thought, what? When was that? You know, we haven't done this one since January. I couldn't believe it. What is it you say? I don't know. I don't know. Drop the heel over. Right leg to front. Lead leg work, remember that one? Baby step forward with the front leg, it slides back, a medium step and it slides back, and a longer step and it slides back all the way. All right, here we go. So, little baby, normal, long step, go. Small step, just slide, medium, slide. Let the back heel come off the beam. Long, dip, slide. That's it, baby. Bend the knees, a little curtsy if you want. Normal, there, long, gently bend the knees, and slide, baby, there, normal, slide, and long, and slide. Get that dip a bit more, there, and number two, and there, and three, and slide, and baby one, there, there, and back, and long, and slide, fantastic, keeping it going there, good, normal, and long, slide, pause, hands to sternum, flying angel type, so baby one, out, back, normal, back, long, slide, I can hear a slide, well done, baby one, there, normal, and graceful, long, slide, good, baby one, fantastic, you make it look easy, normal, slide and long and back can we get that back knee touching the beam we're not going to stay down there but can we on the third one here we go there and slide i just did it baby one back normal back knee touch and slide one left this side then baby one show off best one so far normal and there and long and slide, well done, hands up and out, turn up and breathe, exhale down to the heart, squish them out, rotate round, turn up, go again, exhale down, squish back round to me, arc them nicely down, step away, shake your leg, 
Now, when we first started that one, I didn't say we're going to go down. If you feel like me, it's like, oh, my back needs a long way down there. But as you built it up, muscle memory kicks in, and you're wanting to get down there, and you realize how smooth it is when you come back, all right? Speed, control, recovery, strength of your core. Sort the feet over, guys. Getting back to the beam. I've never got a thing going through my little brain cell. Have I swapped the feet up over? I don't know if you know it's any so often. You might think, it's still on the same side again. Yeah, because his face is going red. Okay, I do it every so often, but I don't tell you. Ready? Same this side. So, baby one. There. Slide. Normal. Slide. And long. And slide. Looking good. There. And back. And there. And back. And long. And as long as your long one is longer than the normal step out, we'll call that a long step, guys, okay? So you're deciding. And what I find is that when we start doing the flying angel part, there's number two, here's number three coming up, people start taking the longest stride without even saying so. There and back. There. Now, on the first one, have you started dipping down even further than we did on the other side? Dip and back. Yes, you are. Medium. There and long and back. Last one of these, dip and slide, there and slide. Light for all the time, long and slide, hands up and out and here and baby one and back, good. I just, I just threw, threw that in. I want to see you get your arms tied in knots and then back and dip and there and medium and slide and long. Don't get the knee down yet, just aim for it, there. If you have done, then just showing off. There, and slide, and long. Now we can feel this exercise building up, and we're thinking, is this beam a lot? Is it beam fit? I don't know. It's just beaming, and long. Next one needs to be a touchdown. Baby one, there. Arms there, the pendulums, and speed controllers. Knee, just touched it as I slid back. Good. Baby one. Two left includes this one, normal, and there, and long, and slide, and the last one, there, and there, and long one coming up, somebody's foot's on my beam, slide it back, and it wasn't mine, take the hands out, turn them up and breathe in, exhale down to the heart, swish, round we go for two, turn up and go again. Exhale down, squishing it out, back round towards me. That's an arcing down, guys. And shake it all out like you've got two wobbly wheels on your shopping trolley. Good. How many are thinking, shopping trolley? Oh, no, I get mine delivered. Okay. I've done those type of classes. <laughs> I've been looking at me thinking, What's the shopping trolley? <laughs> right? <laughs> we have a van comes around. All right. Where does this guy live? All right, guys. Here we go. Back to the beam. Right leg front, left foot behind. Drop it over, bring it forward. Okay, we're cooking. Here we go. Hands up and out. Three steps front and rear go. One, two, three, return. Doesn't that feel a lot better? Look at it. Nice straight lines. Confident walking, no hangovers. Fantastic. There we go. We got the muscle memory in there. The weekend has started. Pause to the rear. There, turn up. Relax, tall tower, and go. One, two, three. Return three, two, and one. Some nice basic beam fit moves. Good. And there, and back. Two, and three. And I say basic, and my hips decide to go in the fireplace. And there, return, which is okay as long as the rest of the body follows. And good. Last one to the front. Two, three, return three, and two, and one. Hands, rotate, turn up, breathe. Exhale down, swish the hands out, bring it back out to me. Arc oh, those hands nicely down. Good stuff. Swap that foot over, guys. Let's keep this going. One step beam and come after this one. So we slowed it down from the last one. We'll slow it down, but make it different to walk and do more functional. That's this elbow's going crazy. All right. You know, I haven't forgot my promise. If I win big time on, on the, the lottery, we're all going to do beam fit in Barbados. All right, I haven't forgotten that one. Take the hands up and out. Straight away this week. Here we go. Chris fifth T-shape on this side. Go one, two, three. Return three and two and one. Now, are we still rolling the foot backwards? 
if you tend, what I find is, guys, if you tend to focus on rolling the foot to the rear, you'll naturally walk with the heel to toe motion coming to the front. Really focus on the going to the rear. And that way, your legs are going to get shock absorbers, never locked out. Good return circulation. Pause and hold. Turn up, relax, tall tower. Almost the same as your side, isn't it? And go one, two, three. Return for three and two and a one. Two of these left. One and two and front. Return three and two and there. Last one to the front. There and return two and a three. Look fantastic, feel fantastic. And rotate round for two. Turn up and breathe again. Exhale down to the heart, squish the hands out, rotate back around to me, arc it nicely down, give all a shake out. Well, God, there must be something in here, God. I've never drank so much, have I? Well, that's it, all gone. All right, here we go. Right foot to the, on the front, left foot behind. Be about a third of the way down the beam and one step. Dig the ball of the foot into the beam from the first off. And we've got two or three guys on tape. Same thing, guys. Here we go. And there and back and there and back now don't just push the ball the foot into the beam feel what it's doing working through the body getting the core going there push the ball the foot in there feel the pecs you want to feel those working guys as you push inwards there and inwards done last one now just step forwards and let the body come upwards picture a bars of a ship coming out the ocean Nice and straight out the chest there, nice and tall. Fantastic. It's Jersey boys. Round we go. There. Three nice relaxed ones. And then looking relaxed, but getting those arms working hard and getting them around the body, back of the hands up on the vertebrae and the top hand. Nice pointy finger gently going around the head. There. Not around the neck. That doesn't sound good, does it? There. And back. And there. And good. And just keeping that going. No dips, all right? We've done lots of those with the lead leg work. So just this to focus on. Well done. But we're doing a few extra. Yes, we noticed. Good. And there. Fantastic. Just keep it going. Hands are going to come to our sternum in two and one. And hold. And step. And back. And step. And back. And we're doing a few of these because about now, feel that difference. The body's preparing for you to start throwing your arms about but we didn't do it. So it wants to readjust again there. Good. Imagine your friend behind us, let's go. And curve the hands backwards there. And curve them back there. And out. Now I'm getting that chest way forward. Big exercise, the bigger those arcs, the stronger the arms are going to be. And look at the upper body strength that you have. Good. There. Roll the arms in three. And two. And there. And out and step. And there, and step. Looking good. On the move, switch back. Ready? In three, and two. Here we go. Step, and step, and slide the foot back there. Did your foot slide back even easier after doing the lead leg work? Mine did. It's there. And I was listening for the sliding noise as well. In fact, my ears want to join in there. And out, and back, and out. Here we go, Jersey boys. Out. There. Isn't it different doing more or less the same things on one side of the beam as the other? Because you're now thinking, he's going to change it. He's up to something there. So back of the hands coming up the spine. It keeps the brain switched on, doesn't it? There. And wrapping around. Good. And just gently keeping that going. Fantastic. I'm liking it, guys. Good. A few more steps. Keeping it going. There. And back. And out. And there. Good, like it, three, and two, star shapes, there, and out, and up, and back, and there. So remember, the posh people are reaching for the coving, the ones who aren't posh are reaching for the cobwebs, or is it the other way around, there, it generally is, isn't it, there, good. So reach up, there, reaching up, fantastic. There, and we were going to stop. You know what? Let's do a few more. Let's keep this thing going where the body does a couple more moves. Then it comes back in. We're going to take our hands back to robot arms in three and two and there and back. And then, oh, I didn't get a hangover there. And good. And step for a pause in three and two and 
pause, hold, take the hands up and out, turn up and breathe. Arcs and curves, exhale down to the heart and arc it down. I know I've got this thing, I do this and it comes out and it's all lardy car stuff. You're all copying me these days, all right? You're mirror imaging, well done. It looks good, doesn't it? Keeps you relaxed. Good. I like nothing else better than do it in a supermarket when I see somebody who's being fit. Especially if it's a man, okay? Because <laughs> they run away, run away. All right, turn this side, Miss guys. Let's go down, tabletop position on the beam. So your knees have got to be tight, tight, tight together, okay? Hands tight, tight, tight together in front. Just my camera, I just didn't know I didn't. I came in. As long as you can see me, that's the one. Happy. All right, here we go. Both knees onto the beam. Now, this is a capital B for balance. If I see anybody go over, right, you're going to be a Facebook hero in about 20 minutes' time. Stick the butt out, guys. Nice neutral spine. Good. Okay, both feet, roll them. Remember I said start? Roll the feet, get those hips up into the air. Off we go. There, on your toes. Now take the head down between the arms and look directly behind you. You want your ears right next to your biceps. That's how deep you want it. Two. One, bring those knees back down again. Neutral spine, good. And again, hips upwards, legs nice and straight. Head back, now feel the pivot in the hips. Massive, hold. Knees back down again, good. Are we sweating yet? Yes, last one, up we go, there, good. Now, get that those ears all the way back and don't tell me you only got one ear so you're cheating you only all got two knee back down the beam again good there might be a few pirates in this evening guys but they've both got, but they've got both ears last one but hips upwards tilt the head backwards big pivot confidence there look at the toes and lower back down knees either side of the beam and come back on your haunches and rest it in a good habit Shake those arms. Up. This is a big full body exercise. And then we say, I can't do push ups, talk. You're doing more than one of those now. So, yes, you can. Shake it out. Mexican wave. Back, right knee on the beam only. Both hands to the front. Okay. I don't want no show offs. I don't see people saying, look, big sign on the screen. Look at me, talk. No knees. Okay. Not big and not clever. Right. My left knee is to the side. Okay. Ready. One leg, so push your straight leg is going to go out and up. On one knee, push upwards, head down between the arms and raise and extend that other leg upwards towards the sky. Hold, two, one, lower back down. There. So my knee is to, and rest it on the floor if you need to, on the bevel. Ready? And go again, raise up, down. Bend those hips, head between the ears. Raise that left leg up into the air and back down again. There, hold. Last one this side, ready? And go, raise up on the toes, ears between the biceps, raise the other leg up into the air, nice and high. I bet that's the highest so far. And lower back down. Knees to the side of the beam, back on your haunches, shake it out, good. Massive, isn't it? Liking this one. But you know what? It's, it's, so, it's so much water in the air down here. My beam is like slippy, slippy, slippy. Weird. Okay, here we go. Other side, even it off. Hands front of the beam. Left knee on the beam then. Curve those toes under. Get the other knee ready. Focus, neutral spine. Go. Raise up. Right leg nice and high, head dipping down, ears either side of the biceps. How high can you get that foot? And lower back down. And don't worry about your knee being slightly bent, the foot's on the beam. Ready? Go, raising up, hips high, roll the foot, raise the other one up, head between the biceps, looking back to that foot. Now try and straighten that leg a little bit. Now lower back down again. Good. There. Oh, using lots of air this evening. Core, feel the abs working? Last one this side. Here we go. Raise up, head down, left, right leg, sorry, nice and high. Foot on the beam. I'm getting that leg nice and straight as I can. Getting the head way down between the biceps. Two and a one. And lower back down nice and gently. 
knees either side of the beam, come back on your haunches, guys. Good. You know what, I'm gonna bring my knees out a little bit, use the beam as a bit of a seat. Let's get a nice big deep breath. Here we go, hands up and out, turn up, breathe in. Now, can you feel the weakness in the, and the numbness in those shoulders? Exhale back down, squish it out one more time. Out, breathe in, and exhale all the way back down again. Fantastic, good stuff, like it. So, from there, I'm gonna hurt, turn the beam as it is. Let's lie down on our back. I've got to check my clock. Good, we just get this one in. Here we go. Lie down, feet on the beam. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I just got to do something, guys, I remember. Babes, cup of coffee, two minutes. There you go. You can make it yourself. Did you hear that? Did you hear what I got the lid with? Okay. Knees together, feet flat on the beam, palms on the floor. Raise the hips up now, go. Raise up, lower down. Raise up, lower down. Raise up, push, lower down. Raise up, push, lower down. Raise up, squeeze the glutes. Tight, 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 push, lower down. Three left, raise up, push, and back down. Two, raise up, and back down. Last one, raise up, squeeze, push, raise, and lower back down again. Good. In your own time, guys, let's come to a sitting position on the beam. Here we go. Good. I'm going to press the button. You know, I, I caught the clock when I came in for a look to it, and I was like, what? It's almost done. But it is. Time has beat us again, but it didn't stop us having fun, did it? Take the hands of here. The weekend started. Go in there, be safe. You deserve this. One, two, three, go. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, sweating. Oh, my coffee's ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Thanks, Jeff. Bye. <laughs> if you're ready for the next time. <laughs> it's a cut. I change your hairstyles in half an hour. <laughs>